What's going on YouTube? Got an outdoor video today. It is gorgeous here. Um, I don't know, like lower 80s maybe, upper 70s, lower 80s. Uh, nice breeze blowing through and for the moment no airplanes flying so decided to do an outdoor video because I can actually hear. Um, new background. Just picked this up in the last few days. It just arrived yesterday. Got it taped to a piece of cardboard right now just for the video purposes but this is an awesome vinyl banner of Clay Matthews. Really nice, high quality vinyl. Um, got that thing for $12.99 shipped. So, super excited to have that. I have to find a place on my wall for it. But, I have some cards to show off. And I will go ahead and get started with this right here. This is a redemption I put in with Tops. One year and 18 weeks ago. As of first couple weeks of September, it had been a year and 18 weeks. And there comes the wind. Um, but yeah, so I was not expecting to get this, but I got on there and checked to see if my uh, Tommy Lee Allen and Ginter Auto had been um, completed yet or not. And I got on there and I saw that this was marked shipped. And I was like, holy hell. And sure enough, it arrived in the mail, and it is a beautiful card. Um, there's three different versions of Hosmer, and this is the only one of him batting. So I was really excited to get this numbered. 31 out of 100. Um, beautiful on-card autograph. That's why I picked it up in the first place, because I, I love the look of Topps Museum, and I'm a big fan of white card stock on most anything, so... Happy to get that because I was never expecting it to go live. Um, so yeah, that's the only baseball card. Up next from the 2013 draft class, we've got the Honey Badger. I wanted to pick up one of his uh, rookie cards because the guy is a freaking stud. And this, this isn't going to be a fun video, I'm thinking. I should have stayed indoors. But uh, anyway... I wanted to pick up one of his cards just to have in the collection because I, I really like the way he plays. Um, obviously, he's had some serious personality and legal issues uh, throughout college, but I think he's got his head on straight right now. Um, Patrick Peterson's there tutoring him on, so I think he's going to be a hell of a player in this league. And this one is num. I mean, his his signature is really really nice on this card. A lot of his. Uh, first stuff from like Elite was real scribbled and this is real legible I really like it um, number 32 out of 99 from Rookies and Stars Longevity and uh, see there 32 and 32 jersey number watch out now okay and on to my little side PC of Mr. Alec Ogletree I picked up oops uh Another one of these, the Donruss Elite Gold Status Die Cuts. Uh, this one's numbered 7 out of 49. This is my second one of these. Just great looking cards, and it doesn't appear like he's in very much so far. Um, only a handful, or not even a handful of products, so picking up everything of his that I see that I like, and that's one of them. And then next, for um, Playoff Prestige, we've got the Extra Points Gold, numbered 22 out of 50. Great looking cards. And I've got the Extra Points Emerald, number 24 out of 25. So I believe I have all of the Extra Points other than if, if there's a one of one I don't have that. Or a, anything under 25, obviously, I don't have. But all the other ones I do. So I like that. And then from a product that I wish they would just discontinue, even though this is a good looking card, um... Really wish they'd get rid of play or uh, Panini Momentum because I just think it's a it's a money grab is what it is. The product tends to not hold any value, um, despite some of the cards looking really good. But I got this one at a killer price. Um, this is the rookie signature black rookie card, and that is numbered five out of five. And this card came to me for under fifteen dollars shipped, so could not pass it up. And that guy 
love watching him play. I think he's going to be a beast for quite a number of years there in St. Louis. I think they got a really good draft pick there. I like I like him other better than the other Georgia linebacker and Jarvis Jones. I, I think Alco Ogletree was the better player. So be fun to watch him. And now on to everything else here is Clay Matthews um, from new 2013 Prominence. This is, uh, I guess it's just like a rainbow parallel. Uh, numbered 5 out of 99. Solid looking card there. Then I picked up another one of these. This is my third one, or fourth maybe. Uh, 20, 2009 Topps Chrome Rookie Card Blue Refractor. That's another one I'm going to send off to get graded. Uh, I sent off my other two, and they came back nine and nine five. This one looks every good as every bit as good as those. So, uh, should be another pristine ten on the centering. This thing is like nice, nice, nice. So, we'll see. Then this card from 2011 Rookies and Stars Longevity. We got the Longevity Black Patch, Prime Patch, two color with some stitching. I have the emerald version of this card, I believe, numbered out of 99 is what it is. Um, this one here is numbered 5 out of 50. So, always cool to pick up his memorabilia because he doesn't have much out there. Which leads me into my next card here. We've got from 2011 Gold Standard, my favorite product of all time. We've got the Gridiron Gold two-color patch. I believe that that's either nameplate or uh, from the shoulder numbers. Um, got stitching there on the inside and then stitching here on the outside, and it uh, appears to be a little bit dirty. That stitching's browned up, so good-looking card there. That one's numbered 22 out of 25. Got this card for $6.95, which is ridiculously low, so happy to snag that one. Then I bought, this is my second one of these, from 2013 Tops. We've got the short print photo variation, him flinging his hair around. This one, I, uh, I don't know, I got it for cheap, and I don't mind having two of the short prints, so pick that one up. Um, the lone autograph card that I picked up, this is from 2009 Donruss Classics. We've got the Significant Signatures Gold rookie card, the base, numbered 143 out of 250. I picked this card up for $22, uh, maybe $3 shipping, so I think it was like $25, which is crazy cheap on his stuff. Uh, two of them actually, ident uh, just like this, went off sale yesterday and both sold for uh, $32 and something plus shipping. So, god dang, wind's being a dick. Um, but, yeah, one of the rookie cards I did not have, so happy to get it. Okay, motherfucker. Sorry. Anyway, uh, on to my next, our last two pickups. This is from 2013 Bowman. One of the few parallels I do not, ha I did not have in my collection yet. This is the, I think they called it Gridiron Parallel. Um, I'm calling it Green Sparkle, or Green Static. It is a freaking cool looking card. Any Packers cards in green look phenomenal. And that one is really nice. Some in the shade right now, so I'm not really picking up much light-wise, but it's beautiful. Um, that card is numbered 1 out of 50. Just got that in the mail today. And lastly, we got a card from a fellow tuber and a uh, friend of mine, Pete, Bronco Man 40. He was down at Ryan's shop down there in uh, St. Louis, RBI Crew shop. And he was busting 2013 certified, and he pulled a card that I absolutely wanted and needed in my collection. And uh, we were able to work out a deal and send it to me, and glad to have it. Uh, he sent me two extras of our uh, two rookie running backs. Jonathan Franklin and Eddie Lacy, who both have showed promise and both have gotten a little dinged up. Uh, Lacy with the concussion and uh, Franklin got beat up a little bit in the Cincinnati game. Um, hopefully both of them come back strong. Both look really good. So, promising future from these guys. So, thank you for the extras. Pete and the card that I purchased from him from 2013 certified he was able to uh, luckily get one of the Platinum Hot Boxes. Um, I don't know how many they come per case, maybe one per case or two per case. But anyway, uh, he got one of them, and he was able to pull the Clay Matthews Platinum Emerald Edition Parallel numbered right there. 
five of five. That card is freaking gorgeous. I love the design on the new certified. I think these hot boxes with the starburst in the background and the fact that the lines from the starburst are the same color as the parallel. So here we got the green ones, emerald, like just like the Bowman card. When you can get uh, Packer cards in green, it makes them that much better. So love this card. I'll probably send it off to get graded since I have my uh, other emerald um, autographic clay um, graded. Wouldn't mind having this one slapped too. So. Thank you very much again, Pete. Uh, I really appreciate working out a deal with me. Love this card. Perfect in my collection. So, yeah, that's it. That's all I've got to show off. Um, I think I have one more card coming in, but I didn't feel like waiting on it because it's nothing big. So, And that'll be the last card for quite some time because bills piled up this month and everything just kind of came due. So, I've been spending money on those instead of cards, which is always a bummer, but gotta do what you gotta do um i will be going down to ryan's shop for trade night in october i believe it's the 26th or something around there i will be going down for that uh look forward to seeing everybody um maybe making some trades uh we'll see but yeah that's my video uh hope you guys like some of the cards um try to find i'll, I'll put this guy's link down below to his ebay page he has got some amazing stuff and it's all Super low prices, in my opinion, for the quality that they are. Um, God dang, this wind is awful. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and cut it before I get really pissed off. But thanks for watching, guys. Later.